Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf here in the Tour of Eight Minnetonka, joined by Kevin Kraft here with a fun head-to-head -head comparison that was actually brought to us by a viewer on our recent live stream. So yes. we couldn't get to all the requests during the live stream for various comparisons to execute during the stream, and this was one of them, uh, a Titleist T200 utility iron. The new one. The new one, uh, new in 2023, part of the T-Series, versus the Ping I crossover. The um, new one. Yes, the new one as well. Uh, so. The fun part about this is I have the eye crossed over in the bag, uh, and I love it so far, but I haven't done a ton of testing with this, or I really haven't explored it that much. Yeah. Um, so very curious about it. Um, Mr. Kevin Kraft, uh, utility irons in general, mm -hmm. um, generally of the options at this part of the bag, the lowest launching, um, most workable, but you still need the ball to get up in the air, as so these Correct. clubs have the properties to launch it high. Yes, they do, uh, and for some they will, and for some they won't. So, right. uh, you know, go see a fitter, make sure we're getting it right. But exactly. Yes. Um, so these are both three irons. Um, this is a, an iron to which I am not really familiar anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm a, I'm a hybrid guy now. So, uh, but these, these look good. They, they, that guy that does not like hybrids or somebody who wants to be able to flight something a little bit lower, um, uh, you know, want to be able to have it do double duty, both off the tee and into the greens, if possible. Yeah. If you're legitimately just using it off the tee, then you know that's that's fine. You know, more power to you. Mm -hmm. uh, these should work out very well. Yeah, and I, I will say from just looking at the the T200 of the 2023 series, much better I think looking. And I know in, in hitting the standard iron set of T200s, yeah. the sound is way improved it versus is. the previous generation. So already some progress being made without really necessarily even testing at least the utility yeah. iron here. Everything everything T series has been really, really good. So I expect yeah. the, the exact same out of this. Sure. Well let's uh let's get to the testing here. Head to head, okay. a few shots with each and right. we'll see what the numbers say. Good. I'll start with what I got in my hands. And that is the Ping Eye crossover. It is indeed. All right. Good looking golf club. Yeah. It's got some offset. Does it? I like the, I actually like a little bit of offset. Looks looks good to me. One of the reasons why my irons are bent a little bit strong. Frames up the ball better for mm. me. I like that a little bit. So I don't want it to turn over a little bit. Don't want it to turn over too much, but I want to turn over a little bit. So I also like the black finish on this. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, that was a rip. There's some ball speed. Wow. That was a rip. There we go. There's some more ball speed. That one turned over a little bit, too. Uh-huh. <sighs> I always get that little, one little yeah, hanger out yeah, there. Just a little bit. It's all right. It's all right. You want one more or are we good? Yeah, we can get one more, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's ripped. Wow, look at that. 225 on the carry. Man, didn't know I had it in me. You, sir, are warmed up. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> um, all right, look at these golf shots right here. We're actually, I think we're hitting to like the skinniest part of this fairway possible. Yes, actually um, it is. So we have, let's see, for the sake of maybe doing four of the best or the, the four best out of five. Yeah, we had, you know, we, we clubbed down for accuracy. We can maybe and wave this bunker, one here, so. yeah. But yeah. we got, uh, all right, so these four will collapse, expand these numbers here. We're averaging 221 carry, 240 total. That's a plenty of spin, you know? Yeah, that's good for, a, good for a three iron, absolutely. Landing yeah. angle, it is over 40 on average. Which isn't bad. I mean, we're at 93 feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, not bad. I mean, if this is, if this is coming into a green, right? We're going to have to play for some release. Yeah. We're going to have to probably hope that there's not a big bunker right in front either. In front, yeah. So, Which, if uh, that is the case, maybe that's a green you shouldn't be going for in the first yeah, place. Yes, exactly. Um, but, I mean, that's a I mean, look at that's the last one you hit there. You can't really ask for much more than that right there. So, that's the eye crossover. Good. Okay. And setting the bar very high for the T200 to no meet. No wonder you like this thing. Yeah, that is, that is exactly why I like this thing. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's change our tag here to the T200. Thoughts on the appearance so far? Just getting it and putting it down in the dress. Looks knifier. 
knife ear. Yeah. It's not, I, I don't looks, think that's a word we have said on this. Looks, looks more like, more, looks more like a butter knife. Okay. It's a little thinner, a little smaller. Yeah. Still see just a little tiny bit of the back edge, but it looks more challenging. Okay. Okay. More challenging. It does look more challenging. That one, the, the eye cross is warm and inviting and it's got this big head and yeah. it just says, oh, it, it'll be all, it'll all be okay. Right. <laughs> this one says you better swing well, my friend. Yeah. Mm. So. Well, you have been swinging well, so. I have. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, yeah. Okay. Hold on one second. I might be missing things, but I think you just hit the same num spin, spin number twice in a row. Oh no, 32, 34, uh, 32, yeah, 43. Yeah. Very close. Nah, it's, I just thought mm -hmm. I was, I had to, I had to verify because yeah. if it was the same spin number back to back, I, I like that would have been wild. I like your attention to detail. I'm not known for it in any other realm besides <laughs> golf equipment, so. Ooh, there's some speed. That's the first time I've seen 140 in that category Ooh. today. Wow. And we did climb over 100 feet in the air. Nice. Look at that landing angle. That, that'll, that'll play. Yeah. Or as they say, dog will hunt. The dog will hunt. Little toey. That, I mean, it, it works. I, I would call that a very good miss. It's a good miss. It is a good miss. Some forgiveness packed into the T200. That was a little skinny. Yeah, the spin did climb a touch there. Yeah, left the face open. Human characteristics coming to the forefront here. He's not able to make the same swing every time. You would never expect that of anybody. Yes, a yeah, good me, swing there. Give me one more thwack at it here. Okay. Wow. I can live with those. All right, so we got to get, uh, let's see, let's get, we got six of them technically. We got a couple of extra. Yeah, that, that one can go for sure. Is this one too. Yeah. Yep. So yep. we'll go these, but so we yeah. got four good, four good ones four. here with each uh, club. Yeah. There's our dispersion, which is kind of gross because that we should, I mean, this is a 30 yard landing zone here, which is, yeah, not, that's, 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 that's skinny. That's pretty tight. Yeah. That's skinny. Pretty tight. Um, now, numbers here. I was right about the T200 being a little bit higher launch, yeah. more height. There yep. might be, there might be, I'm trying to remember. I think the, the standard loft is a bit, it's like it's one degree that higher would, loft. That would, that would probably do it. Yeah. With the T200. But still, it's, it's worth noting when, you know, you're trying to gap your bag and trying to figure out what club to put there. The standard loft matters. And uh, for what it's worth, the ping is adjustable. It has yes. the adjustable hosel that yes. you can, you know, if you're, if you swear by the eye crossover and you need to adjust the loft, you can with this one. And you really can't with that. So. Um, however, well, you, you can, you just have to use a different device. Yes. You need a bending yeah. bar and a right. loft line machine. It's a lot tougher. Um, also of note, the same exact average ball speed. Yeah. How about 137.9. Um, got there in two different ways. It did. It did. Uh, so the carry distance is pretty similar. I cross over as a little bit of a longer total yardage number because of kind of the lower launch, lower spin. Yep. Um, but a lot of similarities up here though, Mr. Crown. There are. There are. Mm -hmm. Golf clubs designed to do the same thing, doing the same thing. Yep, yep. It's a matter of kind of what you are looking for. I mean, yeah. in this case, I crossover was a little bit of a lower launching club by about a half a degree, which resulted in a little bit shallower landing angle. I think this, based on this test, slightly more apt for a club if you're looking for the low chaser yeah. off the tee or maybe a wind ball. T200 is at least again based if on If I were this. looking for a dual use club, yeah. I would absolutely go this way. Mm -hmm. Even though it is a little more, you know, knifey. Uh, knifey. It's it's there's plenty of forgiveness in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a, a good test though. I mean, I, yeah. We uh, again we credit the 
the uh, subscriber to our channel for suggesting it in the chat of our live stream. Um, but uh, this is a good one. I think it's both are terrific options for players that yeah. are looking for utility iron. Yeah. Um, and then we should also note too, if you like the Titleist look, but maybe you feel like you need a little bit more forgiveness, the U505 is also yep. an option that you can work yep. in there as well. Probably will be a little bit hotter, maybe a little bit higher launching to, compared to both of these. Definitely not knifey looking. No. It's, it's, there's geez. a lot more to look at and there see. There is address a lot that. more to look at there. Yeah. yeah. But for this test, um, yeah. very comparable both yeah. across the board. Just saw some subtle differences there in yeah. the characteristics. But Kevin, really good swing in there. Thanks. Really good swing in. Thanks. Every now and then. Uh, it's always nice when that works out. It, it is. It is. Sure. Um, but thank you for doing the testing. Some good insight here. And yep. again, both options are fantastic. Go get fit at your local Second City store or uh, talk with one of our online fitting and support team members. They'll get you dialed in with an eye crossover or a T200 utility iron. Yeah. Thanks for uh, sending in the questions. Mm -hmm.